Hey everybody, uh, this is my second official video review. Um, I usually, I've been collecting, a, well I've been trying to collect some Halloween memorabilia. I've gotten a few items from, I've gotten a butcher knife from the prop shop site, which they have some cool stuff. Um, I got a fear mask from Cemetery Gate Productions, and I actually got from eBay a uh, converted Tots Trick or Treat Studios uh, Halloween 2018 mask, which actually was pretty cool. Um, show you guys that real quick here's the knife from the prop shop site i'll put the link in the description below uh this is the mask i got from trick or treat um i'm sorry from cemetery great productions cemetery get productions jeez <laughs> uh i got the stand from frightmare productions they're actually some pretty cool stuff this is an older one i know he said he's got some new ones i think i'm gonna order a new one later and here's the converted trick or treat studio mask um I forgot who the you, the person is. I gotta check my eBay accounts. I'll see if I can post their link on the description below as well. And this is also another Frightmare Productions um, uh, stand. Yeah. That was just a gift my brother got me for Christmas. Uh, NECA Toys, Friday 13 Part 6, Jason. Um, so I was in Boston for about a week and a half. And a couple days ago I got a text saying that my package had come in. And if anyone knows, I've been looking for a, a NAG Studios uh, uh, Castle 75K Special Edition mask, I believe it is, or I must have said that backwards, a 75K Castle Special Edition, I'm sorry about that. Um, but I've been checking reviews on YouTubers and everything, and apparently this is the number one uh, mask to get if you're collecting the original 1978 Halloween mask. Um, he has some really awesome masks there too. I was checking out a bunch of others as well. But I've been dying to get this for a while, and it finally came in. Uh, so, uh, hang on, let me open that up. Excited for this one. I gotta get another stand for it now. I'm gonna get a larger table as well. Sorry if this video isn't so great. Uh, I've had my YouTube page for a while, but I never really had a chance to do any videos. I posted a couple of, uh, short clips I've filmed, but I never actually sat down in front of the camera and actually spoke. Uh, still kind of new to that one. Uh, it's from, let me, get, let me give his name in a second, it's from Nag Masks. I'll put his Facebook description in the link below. Um, I'm sorry if I messed up the name, is Nicholas Dresios. Nicholas Dresios. I'm really sorry if I mispronounced your name, Nicholas. But he's a really cool guy, really, really easy to talk to. I didn't want to contact him too much, I know he's busy with other masks as well, but it was really quick. I think the turnaround time, I think, was like a month and a half. And like I said, I've seen a lot of other videos of people who've been uh, reviewing it, and it looks amazing. So I was super eager to get his. <clears throat> Okay, let's take a look here. Ooh. All right. Here, Nicholas Sculpture Studios. Let's see if I can get that. I'm sorry, let me just not block the site. There, Nicholas Sculpture Studios.com. You can check him out on Facebook as well. He has more stuff there. And already I can see through the bag, the mask already looks amazing. So let's get this puppy out. Oh, nice. Perfect. Excellent, it's a perfect size because I've, some of the masks I've gotten, they were a little too large for my head. So I'd like it would hang a little too loose. This one looked like it'll fit me perfectly. I've got to do the hair. Ooh, I like the way the hair feels too. It's, it's nice and soft so I can style it easily. I tried to style the, the fear mask. It's a little tricky because the, the hair was a little like rougher. But this one looks really nice. I'm going to have to style it. and try. I'm going to use some screen images from the original movie and try and get the... I know he's got locks sticking out lower. And the center part is a little more puffed up. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to check some screenshots of the, the original film. But yeah, the only request I had from him was if he could make the mask hair a little lower and no slit in the mouth because I've ordered a couple of Michael Myers masks and this, there's always a slit in the mouth which I don't really like because in the end of the moment the mouth opens and that throws off the effects. And a lot of masks, my fear mask included, I don't know why, but most of them stop the hair like right above, like almost right above here. I know in Halloween 2 when uh, Dick Warlock was wearing it, um, the shape was a little bit different because he has a different shaped head. So I'm not sure maybe that's what threw it off. But a lot of people had the mask hair stopping up here, which looked really odd. Because then if you watch the movies, the collar always goes up behind underneath the hair. 
And then with those masks, the collar steps, and he's got this whole bare neck, and then the hair comes out. So I just asked him if we could do the hair down, down below the ears, which he did, which is perfect. That's why it was in the original film. Um, and again, the no slit in the mouth, which is perfect, because like I said, I don't like when the mouth opens up. But yeah, this actually looks really amazing. It looks, honestly, I think this is, per, I, I gotta say that this is the most screen accurate mask I've seen for the 1978 Halloween. Uh, and it looks, looks really, really good. I'm really glad I got this one. Um, again, I can't thank him enough. He's, he's done amazing work. The mask, it feels nice and it feels great. <laughs> I'm very happy. I've been dying to get this mask for a long time. And I was just afraid to. I wanted to check out other videos to see what other people thought about it. Because I've seen other masks I thought it would look awesome and I ordered it and it, didn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. But to be honest, I gotta say, amazing. He's got the, uh, he kept the uh, glue marks here. Yeah. But yeah, it looks really good. I love the way the hair feels. Like I said, he, it's nice so I'll be able to style it really easy. So it comes up pretty easy. Um, the mask looks more, like I said, it looks like it did in the original one. That's what I love about it. So once I style it up, I'll, I'll see if I can post some pictures or some video. Um, yeah. So let me just take a quick look, see how it feels. Oh, this mm. <laughs> that looks pretty good. I love it. I love it. It fits like a glove. It slides on, comes right off easily. It slips right on, comes right off like a nice, comfortable glove. So it fits perfectly. Perfect fit for my head. And, uh, yeah, and no, like I said, uh, it looks it looks great. And like I said, I, once I get the, the, the hair styled up, but Nicholas, or Nico, I've heard a few people on YouTube say Nico, so I'm not sure. My apologies if I mispronounce the name, I'm really sorry, but amazing job. Like I said, if you guys want to check it out, again, definitely check it out. You, it's worth it's worth it. He's really reasonably priced. He works really well, and he he's really awesome. You got to check it out. So again, this is his website. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to check my... So I'm filming this on my S, uh, Galaxy S10 Plus, so I'm looking at my TV screen because I have its uh, link to that so I can check the video out as I, as I make it. But that's his website. You should definitely check it out. It's worth it. I'm so happy. So I'm going to be replacing the fear mask. I'm going to put that in a different, I'm um, going to get another stand for that one. I'm going to put that one next to my uh, Halloween 2018 mask. So yeah, um, I guess I can't, I can't say enough about it. It looks amazing. Um, he's actually signed it in here. It's pretty cool. Got a signature there, Nag 19, Castle 75K. That's what I was thinking. I thought my flash just went off, the battery's dying. But like I said, yeah, no, if, uh, trust me, if you had any, if you were, had any second thoughts of whether I should buy it, take my word for it. I've been, I bought a few uh, Michael Myers Master Authors and I'm 100% happy with this one. And like I said, you can let them know what type of modifications you want on it. Uh, if you want the hair shorter, longer, if there's a slit in the mouth, if you want the pinprick, whatever, I don't know, you can talk to them about the details, but from, my, based on my interaction with him, he can do whatever modifications you want on it. So, but like I said, check it out. Um, yeah, like I said, check it out. And uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed. Again, sorry about the video. Uh, this is my so, my only my second time in eight years actually doing a video. I know that sucks, but I've had so much. I've been so tied up with work and everything. I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually do anything. But um, you, know, you know, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I'm gonna see if I can get more videos up, reviews, reactions, whatever. I'm gonna have some fun with my channel. Uh, yeah, like I said, just check his page out, contact him. You won't be disappointed. This this is just my favorite mask already from the 1970 Halloween. This is definitely it. Second is the Warlock from Cemetery, Cemetery Great Productions, which is the um, Halloween 2 version of the mask, which is also awesome looking. And of course, the Halloween 2018. Um, modified mask I have there so like I said <laughs> so like I said have you know let me know if you like the video give me some feedback if, on how to improve it because like I said I'm new to this so any feedback would be appreciated check your site out and thanks you guys have been awesome
Thank you.